In this video, we will learn how to calculate dead weight loss when the firms are competing in terms of quantities. The question is consider a market demand function P is equal to 100 minus Q. This is the market demand function where Q, uh, you know, is the total aggregate demand and P is the market price. There are 10 firms, each with cost function is CI, QI is equal to QI. That means cost function of each firm is same where i is equal to 1 to up to 10 they, since we have 10 firms so i ranges from 1 to 10 the firms compete in quantities so we have a case of Cornot, uh, you know problem Cornot problem or Cornot nash equilibrium problem the total dead weight losses we need to calculate the options are 9 square upon 2 99 square upon 2 10 square upon 3 or 10, you know, 100 square upon 2. So, since firms are competing in quantities, that means it is a Cornot, uh, you know, problem. And we have to calculate the dead weight loss. That means we need to compare this Cornot uh, equilibrium with the perfect competition because uh, the very definition of dead weight loss is the economic, uh, you know, inefficiency when the market is not producing efficiently by efficient production we mean when we have marginal cost pricing that means when price is equal to marginal cost and that happens in the perfect competitive market okay so we need to uh, compare the Carnot, uh, you know equilibrium that is the uh, quantity produced in Carnot case and price with the perfectly competitive equilibrium of quantity and price okay so we are being given the inverse demand function p is equal to 100 minus q this q is the this q is actually the aggregate output of 10 firms because we have n is equal to 10 cost to function is qi okay i ranges from 1 to 10 now this can be written as 100 minus q can be written as since q is equal to uh, q1 plus q2 up to q10 since we have 10 firms so uh, in place of q we can write q1 q2 q3 the aggregate of these q's okay so this is our inverse demand function okay now to find out the Carnot equilibrium we need to find out the reaction function of each firm by reaction function we also call it the best response function it simply tells us the optimal quantity chosen by firm 1 given the other firms have also chosen their optimal quantities okay so reaction function of firm one will be equal to rather how we calculate the reaction function for that first step is to find out the total revenue function of firm one so total revenue of firm one will be equal to price into quantity that is q1 uh, output of uh, you know firm one so price uh, that is p is this very function so q1 plus q2 up to 10 to this we multiply q1 solving this gives us this total revenue function similarly we need to find out the total cost function of firm one so in place of i we have one so total cost function of firm one will be equal to q1 now profit of firm one is simply total revenue minus total cost total revenue function is this to uh, to this very we subtract the total cost which is q1 here okay so this is our profit function first order condition for maximization requires that the marginal profit should be equal to zero that means we partially differentiate this function with respect to q1 set it equal to zero okay so <coughs> derivative of q1 is one so we are left with 100 derivative of q1 square is 2q here again derivative of q1 is one so we have written here one so one up to derivative of q1 again is here one so we are left with q10 minus the derivative of q1 is one so so we have written here one and we set it equal to zero now this is our function we set it equal to zero now this uh, twice q1 can be written as q1 minus q that is minus q1 minus q1 is minus 2 q1 after that we have 100 minus q1 okay and we take minus is common so this becomes q1 plus q2 plus q3 so on up to q10 minus 1 is equal to 0 now 
since uh, we have 10 firms and each firm has same cost condition that means the output produced by each firm in corner competition will be same that means output produced by firm one will be equal to the output produced by firm second and it will be equal to q3 q4 up to q10 so in place of q2 q3 uh, q5 q7 or q10 i can write q1 so substituting these in this equation so we will get 100 minus q1 minus now how many q1 is will be there so in place of q2 if i write q1 here q1 so these are actually 10 q1 is okay so we have 100 minus q1 times 10 q1 minus 1 is equal to 0 solving for q1 we will get 9 that means uh, output produced by firm 1 will be equal to 9 since they are the you know uh, similar uh, you know firms because they have the same cost function that means price will be equal to 100 minus uh, you know to find out the price simply we write 100 minus 10 times q1 since q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q3 so this becomes 10 q1 in in terms of q1 so p will be equal to 100 minus 10 into 9 that means price will be equal to 10 in corner competition and what will be the total quantity so uh, plug p is equal to 10 in this demand function to get the market uh, quantity produced that is q will be equal to 90 so in case of corner price will be 10 output supplied or produced will be equal to 90 now we have to compare it with the efficient productions by efficient production uh, we mean when we you know produce according to marginal cost pricing so in case of perfect competition price should be equal to marginal cost let us uh, find out the marginal cost of any firm here okay so since uh, each firm has same uh, modern you know total cost function so marginal cost of firm one will be equal to the derivative of this function with respect to q1 that gives us you know one is a marginal cost and we know that price should be equal to marginal cost if p that means p should be equal to one simply plug p is equal to 1 in this demand function okay to get the value of q is equal to 99 that means uh, price in case of perfectly competition perfect competition will be 1 because price should be equal to marginal cost and the output supplied or produced will be equal to 99 so this is the efficient point of production this is inefficient point of production uh, and what is the dead weight loss the dead weight loss is the area that is being the area of this very right angle triangle that has been formed by these two pointers okay so um, dead weight loss will be equal to one half of area of this right angle triangle okay so the base is here 99 minus 9 which is 9 and here 10 minus 1 height is 9 again that means area of this triangle will be equal to base is 9 height is also 9 that gives us total dead weight loss equal to dwl equal to 9 square upon 2 that is the total dead weight loss this, so the correct option should be uh, this option okay so this is b option this is c so a option should be correct i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you